こんにちは、トムです。今日また動画撮りますよ。Hello, it's me, Tom. Today, another video. 今日はね、何について話すかと結構悩みに悩んだ結果なんですけど、まず、すごい響きます。結構狭い部屋で今日撮影しております。えー、今日は何について話すかっていうと、非常に僕の人生に響いてるものです。一つの言葉です。ギャンブルです。So today,、uh, as you probably noticed, The sound is sort of looping around a bit in this tiny room, so、uh, sorry about that. But today, what I'm going to talk about is something which has been a huge part of my life. That is gambling. Gamble is, first of all, what I'm going to do is to gamble. I'm going to do it in a way that I'm going to do it in a way that I'm going to do it in a way that I'm going to do it in a way that I'm going to do it. おそらく8歳ぐらいの時にまあポケットマネーをかけて兄弟僕3人兄弟なんですけどお父さん入れて4人でたまにお母さんも参加して5人で、えー、ポーカーやったりしまして、えー、それがね僕のギャンブルの人生の始まりだと思います。So for me, gambling, I started gambling must have been when I was about eight years old. I'd be playing Texas Hold'em Poker、uh, with my dad and my three brothers, occasionally my mum as well. Uh, my uncles as well played a lot of poker.、Uh, so that would probably be the start. We used to play for pocket money. So that's pretty much how my gambling life began, I guess,、uh, is the word to say.、Um, で、えー、それがね、8歳からやってて、もうカジノ自体がね、18からじゃないと入ってなくて、入れなくて。僕18の頃にもう早速カジノでポーカーしたいと思ってその8歳から10年の経験を積んできてまあ言っても家族同士って言ってもやっぱりこう友達同士とかいろんな人とポーカーやってきてえ自分で言うとあれですけどそれなりにはえ上手にできてたと思います今はどうかわかんないですけどそれまた話すんですけどえ10年間の経験を積んでとりあえず18になった瞬間にはよしカジノに行こうと思いました So,、um, since I was playing since eight years old,、uh, you can't go to the casinos until you're 18. So, I had 10 years to sort of prepare. And、um, so, I'd play with my, obviously, my family,、uh, with friends,、um, and not、really、trying to float my own boat or anything, but I was pretty reasonably good at poker.、Um, with 10 years of experience, that definitely helped. And then, as soon as I turned 18, hit the casino. で、えー、ちょうどね、このテキサスホールデンポーカーご存知でない方結構いると思うんですけど、テキサスホールデンポーカーっていうのが、もう、今だとすごく誰でも知ってるような存在になったんですけど、昔はね、そんなに人気なくて、本当にこう知ってる人だけやってて、急にブームが来たんですよね。ちょうどそのブームが来たんですから、僕多分ね、16か17ぐらいの時だったんで、もうね、もう、ホールデンテキサスホールデンをやりだした人たちが、要はそのブームに乗っかった人が多くて、僕が8歳からやってて、まあ、ポーカーというのは別に経験だけじゃないんですけど、僕は非常に経験を積んできて、18歳に行った時には、初心者が多くて、僕が初心者のはずなんですけど、初心者じゃなかったっていうところで、結構ね、あの、勝ちやすかったりしました。So,、um, ポーカー、テキサスホールデンポーカー。It's pretty common these days, but、um, the actual, you know, the World Series of Poker, those kind of things, didn't really kick off until I was about 16 years old. So I'd been playing from when I was eight, and、uh, obviously going to the casino at 18 years old. A lot of people who were at the casino were beginners because they'd only just sort of come on board as the Texas Hold'em boom sort of took off.、Uh, so it made it, I mean, of course, just being able to play for a long time or having played for a long time doesn't necessarily make you a good player. Uh, but it definitely gave me a slight advantage, which did definitely assist me in making a few reasonably big wins. And it did help me,、um, I guess, take advantage of my experience to collect a few bucks on the way. And then, I guess, I was going to talk about the poker. 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 えー、業界に入りまして、それは動画の制作人間として入りましたけど、えー、パチンコパスはね、ギャンブルではないはずなんですけど、まあ、今日はね、えー、実は、ま
つながりとしてちょっとつなげていきますけどそのポーカーの考えとそのパチスの考えは非常に変わ、まあ、全然違っててポーカーの場合は対人間の戦いなんですよね対ハウスでもないし対マシーンでもないし対人間なんで直接自分と一緒にやってる人のやり取り勝負の駆け引きで、えー、勝敗が決まるわけなんですけど、まあ、お金が別にね、そこでねこう多い人が勝ったりとかっていうのはいろいろあるんですけど、まあ、直接人間としてやるものでパチンコパツとはねそうでもないんですよねマシーン相手なんですよねギャンブルではないですけど遊戯ですけどねそれもう一回言いますけど、あのー、全然考え方が違うよねこうポーカーの場合はできるだけ弱い人とやりたいっていうねもうできるだけ自分が勝つ相手のが多いテーブルを見つけてそこでプレイするってもそこはある意味、えー、少しパチンコパスには似てる部分があるんですけどパチンコパスはねこう勝ちやすい台が多いところに行こうとするわけなんで、まあ、多少似てるけどタイムシーンなんである意味その自分の何て言うかなこう何て言うかなこう直接多くの人と戦ってるわけでもないものだと思います。So, one of the big differences between poker and pachinko p a s t a for example, is pachinko and p a s t a is versus a machine. So, the machine is the thing you're trying to win against. Whereas poker is you're very much playing against the person right next to you, the person across the table from you. You're not actually, the house, for example, the casino, doesn't really have that much influence on the game. Flow or the who's going to win, who's going to lose. It's down to you beating the people around you and basically taking their cash. And、um, which is, in theory, I think very different from how Pachinko p a s t a which is not actually gambling, by the way, it's actually entertainment. But for、uh, the sake of today's video, we'll just leave it as the same kind of thing. But、um, with Pachinko p a s t a is you're versing a machine. So hence, Uh, the way you, I guess the way you feel about playing is very different. When I played poker against people, you do have to sort of get rid of the feeling of feeling bad for the other person, things like that. And,、um, but you are looking for a table with people who are worse than you, weaker than you, as such, to basically win. And I guess that is in one way, it was, if you think about it in a slightly different way,、uh, similar to Pachinko Pachinko in the sense that when you play Pachinko Pachinko, you try and find a place. With easy to win machines. So I guess it's kind of similar, but the way you feel about it, I think, is very different. You don't feel bad at all beating a machine and taking all the coins from it, whereas you do sometimes, which is one of the reasons why I did walk away from playing poker, is taking people's money. You do sometimes feel slightly bad. まあ僕の場合はね、そのポーカーをね、やめた理由あるんですけど、こう。人のお金こう奪っていくことが自分最初の頃はねもう若かったんですけど18歳1920ぐらいの時にはそんなに何も考えてなくてもう自分だけ良ければいいみたいな結構思ってたんですけどその直接人のこう負けてるところを見るとさすがにちょっと響いててえそれで僕がちょっとこう離れようっていうまああとその実はその掛け方のルールいろいろ変わってたんでそこで僕は手を引いたんですけど今となってポーカーそんなにやってないんですけど、まあ、そこは僕はできなかった部分かなそのなんかねこう負けてる人をこう自分が喜べばいいかみたいなちょっとあったんでそれで僕はポーカー20歳でほぼ、えー、クイットしましたよねやめましたね Uh, so, with me, poker, like I was just saying previously before, it started to get difficult to feel happy about taking so much money from other people. And I know it is gambling, and that's part of the, part of the game. But、um, I was very young, and I didn't feel that way in the beginning. And after a while, I did start to feel slightly bad about taking people's money. And that, in a sense, is. Not the best gambler to be, so I decided to walk away from it as such. I do occasionally now play poker, but I don't think I can play poker as much as I used to. Maybe that means I'm a nice guy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, maybe not. But、um, yeah, that sort of convinced me to walk away from the sport of poker, I guess. 
。で、まあ、今日の動画はこんな感じで、えー、終わりますけど、また、えー、いろんなそのギャンブルについて語れるものあると思うので、もしこういったテーマについてまた話したいと思う方はぜひコメント書いて、えー、いいねをしてください。そしてぜひ、えー、Twitter なり Facebook、Instagram などなどにてちょっとこう拡散してもらえたらね、えー、僕も今後いろんな動画も撮っていきたいと思います。So today, thank you very much for watching today's video and there's plenty more things I could say about gambling but I'll leave today's video at about the 10 minute mark and、uh, definitely if you did like what I talked about today or you disagree with what I had to say today Definitely leave a comment,、uh, let me know how you feel, drop me a like, and definitely share on social media if you do enjoy the videos and we'll spread the word. And、uh, in the future, I'll try and make some more videos very soon. Of course, I'll make one tomorrow,、uh, but yeah, we'll try and make more videos about different topics. So definitely leave me a comment, leave me a like, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Deva, sayonara.